For women's cricket and women's umpiring as well, I think it's a massive, massive moment in history. I think cricket has, has really taken big steps in the past. I walk around on the streets and I like look up and there's an ad of the, of the World Cup and I just, I kind of smile, you know. She is the youngest umpire to ever officiate a World Cup final. We are in conversation with Lauren Achenbach. Lauren, welcome. What is your first memory of watching cricket? The memories I've got is from a very young age, going to watch cricket at Supersport Park. Every opportunity we had, uh, my mom and dad would take us to, to watch cricket. Those memories actually sit you know, very fond with me, enjoying cricket with uh, my brother, my family, uh, taking the bat along, playing cricket on the grass embankments at Supersport Park and those kind of things. How and when did you decide to pursue umpiring? So it was back in 2015, it got to a point where I lost interest in playing, I didn't quite enjoy it anymore. So I started looking at other ways in uh, being involved in the game or giving back to the game. And the idea of umpiring came up. Uh, so one of the guys back home uh, from our local cricket board uh, had a chat to me and he convinced me to take up umpiring and I thought, hey, let's give it a go and, and see how it goes. Going on seven years now, I've enjoyed almost every moment of it. Oh, that's close and given. Lauren Achenbach decided that that was dead in line. While you've been working in the sport, have there been things that have happened or things that, are, that you've heard that have led you to be an agent of change? I think it comes back to, to other people taking that role and setting the example. I mean, you can see it in players. Players have, have that same role for, for girls who want to play. Other umpires have also have seen it from them. So I think that helps a lot in me realizing I've also got a responsibility in setting an example for younger ladies that, that would like to, to pursue umpiring. How has your journey through this Cricket World Cup been so far? Uh, it's been a good one, <laughs> if I can say so. It's been a good one. I've really enjoyed the tournament. There's been some good games that I've been involved in, um, good cricket being played. From an umpiring perspective, it, it's really been enjoyable out there. And some of the experiences I've had in terms of big crowds, something you don't necessarily get back home at the level I'm standing right now, has really made it even more enjoyable. The Women's Cricket World Cup 2022 final is going to be very important because it's got a four-woman team that's officiating the game. How does it feel to be such an important part of history? I think for me personally, again, a very proud moment. But for, for women's cricket uh, and, and women's umpiring as well, I think it's a massive, massive a moment in history. Hopefully a lot of girls who, who might be, be thinking of pursuing umpiring will be watching it on TV and seeing but hey that this is something I can do as a career. So I think really a huge moment. I think we've got a big responsibility ahead of us in showcasing that to the world as well. Big day for the players, big day for the officials as well. She's 25 years of age, Lauren Achenbach from South Africa. She's had a brilliant tournament and richly deserves this opportunity. You are a leader in the sport and your success has created a pathway for so many others. What advice do you have for young women that want to emulate your journey? One of the big things I always say to people, anyone that, that wants to start umpiring, is make sure you enjoy it. It is honestly, it is, it is a very tough job. So if you're not going to enjoy it, it's going to be really, really difficult. But also just put in the hard work. Uh, there's so many opportunities out there for women umpires that if you just put in the hard work, you definitely, definitely could make it. Lauren, when we interview in 10 years, um, what would you like to look back and say has finally happened in women's sport? I think the big thing, and I know we focus on it a lot, but it is, it is equality. I think cricket has, has really taken big steps in the past. This tournament as well, I think, is, is another big step taken. But it, it would really be nice to see that women's cricket is kind of up there with men's cricket, you know. The marketing of this tournament has been absolutely phenomenal, um, which, which I'm really glad to see. I walk around on the streets and I like look up and there's an ad of the, of the World Cup and I just, I kind of smile, you know. But as we know, it's still a very male dominated sport. So it would be nice to, to see one day that, that it's, it's equal in, in, in that respect. Awesome, thank you so much for talking to us and all the best for the future. Thanks for having me. <laughs>